Hey guys. All right. It's the holidays. This is Diane. We're starting with um, holiday crafting. Uh, we have a new catalog that is going live on September 5th. But before that one comes out, I want to show you some things we've made with the old catalog, things you can still get, and how to use some of our um, Stampin' Up! tools. The first one, of course, is our Stampin' Up! paper, which is awesome because it has inch marks or centimeter marks all along the sides and the bottom. Um, but let me show you. So let me show you what things we have made. Um, this is preview of one of our new stamp sets, which is Still of Night. And you can see the detail in that owl. It's just amazing. Um, and that's something that... And then also the bat here is one of our new punches. So I'm going to show you that. The other um, items on here are old Stampin' Up! Um, designer series paper and things like that. So let me see if we can get some better lighting there. Okay. So then we have our other fun. This is actually what's currently available. This is from the Coffee Cafe um, set. And there's a stamp set and framelit dies. And this is available actually also on my Etsy site. It's called um, Crafty Gale by Diane. And that's my Etsy store. Okay, then we have one well, we're going to show you. We're going to actually walk through this one. This is called the Tea Time Time for Tea stamp set and framelit dies that um, Stampin' Us has made. So these are just real pretty. Hmm. Okay, so you can actually see that. And here's something fun. I'm going to walk you through this a little bit. This is a card make, made with our Shared with Love designer series paper plus our Stampin' Up! Glitter Paper. Okay, it's a butterfly. And then when you open it, there's the sentiment inside. And um, that's like really perfect. So I'm adjusting this to be a Halloween card with some of our new Halloween items. Um, but in the meantime, I just wanted you to see that because it's a pretty easy concept. And I'll show you how we do it with our Stampin' Up! item. Okay, so that's just some of the cards. So, things we can do with our current Stampin' Up! set. Our, we can make our tea time card. And we do that with a time for tea, both stamp set and framelit dies. So the stamp set is a time for tea, framelit dies are... The spot of tea. And what I mean by when I say framelit dies is it's, it's these items and we use it in the it's just terrible lighting. That we're getting a terrible glare. And I'm not sure why. Um, but that is, these are framelit dies that we get from in our Stampin' Up! Like when you buy this as a bundle with the stamp. So to make this, it's really is I take my Time for Tea stamps, okay, and my um, framelit dies. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp. So, in here, this is how they come, okay, all the different stamps together, and you put it on your stamping block. Now, what I wanted to show you is you do get a free stamping block which is this plastic thing, so you can mount your clear um, stamps when you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. If you're like me and you love Halloween things, Paper Pumpkin is doing um, a special spooky, it'll be spooky fun. I mean, they're not into like scaring people. It's more cutesy things. Um, Paper Pumpkin, and what'll happen, you can go onto my website, which is stampinwithdiane.stampinup.net, and you can click on the Paper Pumpkin icon. There is a, a photo and everything, and you'll see it. It's a, let me show you. It'll be a bright orange paper pumpkin logo on my website. And just stamp on that. And then what will happen is in October, you will get a paper pumpkin box. Now, sometimes they do a specialty thing. Because of the spooky, your box may be black and purple. But you will get a box. And that box will be instructions for 
the items. As you can see, this is what we got for August. And the instructions are in there. What's also in the box, your first box, is you get this free um, block from Paper Pumpkin, that Stampin' Up block, and it'll come in that little bag like that. And you get everything you need to make the cards that are in there. You get an ink spot. You get a... Well, this one came with twine. They don't all come with that, but you do get stamps and then um, the cards and, and your um, glue. Like this one came with dots, but everything is in here. So you are set to go and with the instructions and there's YouTube items uh, that they have a paper pumpkin channel. You can make those cards and that's awesome that's an awesome way to start your crafting so again if you go to stampin with diane.stampinup.net you can order your paper pumpkin monthly box and it will come i think it ends up being like 19.95 a month okay so let's talk about how we do this so i've got my stamp and i've adhered it to my stamping block okay i'm going to use the ink spot no no i'm not going to use it i'm going to use one of our new ink colors, the Grapefruit Grove, and I don't know how to fix that glare better. And I'm going to open it. It's open like makeup cases. And what I'll do, and we always say it's better to um, stamp first before you die cut your pieces but if you want to live dangerously sometimes i say i'm going to live dangerously and i'm going to die cut first and i'm just going to stamp oh i'll put this one on the camera let's get this i'm going to stamp on my now what i can do what i do like to do is line it up with this paper because i'm not always totally um as straight as i'd like to be and this will keep me straight and then I just stamp, and I've got my item right there. So there's my teacup. And now I want to make it into a shape. So what I'm going to do is, oh, that makes it worse. There we go. I'm going to get out what we call the big shot. And the big shot, of course, is a Stampin' Up! item. And if you sign up to be a demonstrator, and I'm going to close this up, um, you will, uh, before I close that up, if you sign up to be a demonstrator, you can get this big shot as one of your um, items. You sign up for, it's 125 and you get, no, it's $99, but you get to choose $125 worth of product. So I'm going to take my big shot. I have my platform now mine is magnetic that's an upgrade uh you can get the regular platform which i also have i'm going to take my framelits okay so these are my framelits get that it's not such a glare okay my framelits they're they're just they're steel pieces metal and i'm going to put my first clear plate on here. You do get the clear plates also when you buy your Big Shot. So you get everything you need when you buy your Big Shot. I'm going to line my um, die cut, my steel die cut up with the stamp there. Oh, I need to see this better. Kind of see it. If I understood light better, I could probably do this without such a glare. And then I'm just going to run it through. Now what I, you know what I could do and what I shall do is I could stamp another item on here because I have a lot of space there. So I could have done like two or three. I could have done different items. I could have done my, um, this is a piece that I've also die cut. This is one of the die cut frames that we have is to make this label. And I could have Oh, I could use that. I will use that. And then we also have the leaves. And so I'll use that too. I don't know if it's better or worse without that light, but either way. Okay. So I will go ahead and die cut a label because I have space. And I can die cut a leaf in there too. Why not? Let's put it right there. Okay. 
And then I take my other plate and I put it on top of that one. And I just run it through. And sometimes it makes a creaking noise. I'm going to show you how that looks. And I like to run it back through. Not everybody does, but I do. Okay, I'm going to show you what's a no-no. is You don't really want to leave your stamps open. So I'm going to close that. Oh, let me show you. You just close it like a makeup case. I just slid it. Now I'm just going to close it up. Very simple. The beauty is when you, this is Grapefruit Grove. When you store it, the stamp pad is already upside down. So I don't have to think, oh, I have to move it. Now I just take out my pieces. Ta-da! I've got my teacup. I've got an orange label. And I've got my leaf. Okay. So that is how I make the front of that card. i take these off. I always like to keep them together. I'll put this aside. That is also the... Um, The Share What You Love Designer Series paper. So it has all these beautiful colors, okay? And again, that coordinates with the, um, it coordinates with the Share What You Love Designer Series paper, which is used on this card, okay? So that's the beauty. You buy items and they coordinate. So I know that I can buy this, fancy designer series paper and I could use this shared with you love um, solid colors and everything will coordinate. All right, so what would I do next on this card? I've got I've got my pieces, I've got my teacup, I've got my label, and I've got my leaves. Of course, I did them in different colors, but just to show. Okay. And I've already stamped, so I'm set with that. And I take my um, the dark green paper from the designer series paper. And I measure it, which I measure on my Stampin' Up! paper because it has inches and centimeters on it. So I know that my long sheet needs to be four and a quarter inches wide by, ele or actually, yeah, 11 inches, 10 and a half inches long. That's right, because we have to shorten to keep. Okay, and so I just cut with my Stampin' Up! paper trimmer these pieces. Um, and this is designer series paper called Petal Promenade. A petal promenade is really a beautiful set of uh, paper. And I cut that to a three and three quarters by four inches and put that on my flap, which is five and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches, actually. That's what this flap is. But I put my petal promenade down first. Then I would stamp onto my um, white label. Worn with love, steeped in friendship. And I did that with two different colors, which I will show you how to do that in another video. I actually colored on the stamp set instead of using the ink pad with my um, markers. And they're not Sharpie markers. They're special stampin' up markers so I can do different colors. And then I just attach also my tea cup. And basically I have my card. Okay. So that is available still in the catalog for that is still out right now. And um, you can order that at any time. Okay. I showed you how to use the big shot. Cuts out lots of different things. Okay. Different labels. There's oh so many things. And most of the stamp sets also feature framelit dies that go along with it. There's another thing you can use. And these are things that um, are available right now. Right now, you can still get the Spooky Cat Punch. Okay, love this. So, Spooky Cat Punch brings up 
the fun and versatility of a punch because what I've done here is I've got my punch and I used it with the designer series paper actually from last year, but with the punch and some of you may like this, it's just a lot. It's, it's easy. You, I just line it up. I actually look at it from the backside and then you just punch and you get, you can do that as many times as you want. Um, now what I've done with this one is I've got, since I had this, so I have this punch and then I've got my, I had punched out a cat in orange so I could use that on a card. And so when somebody opens it up, when they, when they first see the card, it looks like this, but then because this is the orange cat is glued onto the back of the card. When they open it up, the cat is inside too cute. It also comes with um, stamps that you can use for that. Okay, so that's those two cards. Now, let me show you a couple others because I have uh, so much fun with the holidays with all these Stampin' Up! things. Um, I'm going to use the butterfly card idea and do something with my uh, with pumpkin. So this is the butterfly card, right? This one. Okay, so I decided, well, that would be kind of cute if I either used a cat or even an orange and white butterfly. I made a butterfly, but I made it orange and white with um, the designer series paper that we got last year. And let me show you the new designer series paper. It's so cute also. Um, but a lot of times when I'm playing, like designing things, I'll just use last year's or some scraps that I have so that I'm not, uh, until I get the card design down pat. So here's what I've done so far. I've got this, this is washi tape. <laughs> this is just holding these pieces in place until I glue it. But I've got my black card stock, basic black. I've got the designer series paper from last year that I punched with my Stampin' Up! punch. Um, and so I made that hole and I'm not sure if I'm going to put a pumpkin in there, if I'm going to put the butterfly in here um, so that when I open it up, I'll have my sentiment or if I should put a cat in there or let me show you this, the little owls. Okay. So in the new catalog, we're coming out with a stamp set that's called uh, night owl thinlets and still night stamps. And these owls are just so adorable. I mean, Wow, I did it with that silver glitter paper and it's it's really neat. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in that punch, but it's pretty easy to do. Um, and then the other one, and I want to show you too, that when you do make a card for occasions, make sure you put a little stamp on the envelope too. We This one of course is a little bit too infringing on the address and return address line, but you can do something small. We've done, with this um, one with accented blooms. This is the accented bloom stamp set. I stamped and then we colored in there, okay? But on the back of the envelope, we did a little flower. This is actually the bottom of the envelope. So, I mean, it's very un unimposing. It's not gonna mess up the mail or anything. And it's just, we, I used a black stamp, but then colored it in with our Stampin' Blends markers. So very simple coordinates so well with the card. Oh, and let's talk about our card giveaway too. I have three birthday cards to give away um, to our, gosh, this is, okay, well that's the inside of that card. Okay, so I mean, it's just, it's, it's beautiful, very easy to make, and it's called Accented Blooms. Okay. And again, the card I stamped with another stamp that is in that stamp set, Accented Blooms. Of course, I'll put everything on the bottom so you know what the items are. I use my multi-purpose glue, which is also a Stampin' Up! item. And I use the tear and tape. I love the tear and tape. So I wanted to show you how to use that today. Okay, another item that's still available in our catalog is our co coffee cards okay again i use the framelit die 
and I used our designer series paper. So let me show you this. Our um, coffee cafe framelits. Okay. Coffee Cafe is the name of the stamp set, okay? And you can see the stamps there. And then the framelit dies are called Coffee Cups, Coffee Cups Framelit. You get both of these together and you can make this card very easily. Now, what I'm gonna do, because we're into a new year with our holiday catalog that starts September 5th, Is I'm going to use the new Under the Mistletoe Designer Series paper. Okay, I, I don't know if you can see this, but these are little deer. How cute. Okay, that's the back. There's always two sides on the um, Stampin' Up! Designer Series. Work. So this is just a really pretty set. Um, and that is coming out on... Well, no, this, this one's available now under the mistletoe. So I'm going to use these to actually, little ornaments, to make the uh, my Christmas cheer cards for this year. So again, that's Coffee Cafe and the cup of coffee framelit dies. Okay, so that, that designer series paper. Okay, and look at the Toil and Trouble designer series paper. That's coming out September 5th. So you can go on my website, stampinwithdiane.stampinup dot net in order toil and trouble now let me show you something neat about this so one of the papers in here is oh i'll just show you them all they're so cute is um a set of bats and that's what i used on my card uh oh so in the new catalog coming out you can order a bat paper punch which totally coordinates with the bat paper. And that is what I used on this card. Um, my Night of uh, Still of Night card. I have, so I can just line this up with the stamp and it will cut out these bats perfectly. Okay. There we go. Those three. And this is how easy the stamps are. I have them lined up. I can even push this in the air. I just don't want them to fly everywhere. Okay, that's what I used on this card. My owl card. I wonder if that went somewhere. I have, I have little bats flying around on my Still of Night Owl card. And that's that's exactly how I got that punch. Is that so fun? Of course, I could use the back side of that paper too, because there's stars on the back side. But right, and I may add another one, perhaps. Um, but I wanted to show you that, and I just wanted to show you a couple of other items that you can make with our catalog that's coming up. This is a Merry Christmas card, again, you could use this. This is the under the mistletoe paper. Okay. If you wanted something a little more traditional, I would say this card falls into that category. And then we have the um, accented blooms card, which, I mean, there's so many cute ones. Okay. This is It's Your Day. That, that was using, well, that was the shared with love. The accented blooms, which is still available is this and then this is a die cut that you can get or no actually it's a punch you can get a punch of that too so if you if this is something you'd like to make people have used this to make quilt cards that punch um, but this is accented blooms and something still available daisy delight which this is a punch okay we actually made it so it flips up okay and this is daisy delight and of course, there's a sentiment inside, or a stamp inside, sorry. And I used that same stamp on the envelope as well. So that's Daisy Delight. That is available in our catalog right now. And more fun, if you have children, this is Animal Expedition. And um, you can buy the designer series paper. 
so cute and cut that out, or you can buy the stamp set. But the designer series paper has this um, pattern on there, so you can just, you know, paste it on there. But so cute. Animal Expedition. So below, I'm going to list all of these item numbers, but I wanted you to see all of these. Okay, cute. Ah, it's still a glare for that one. Um, and now let's talk about giveaway. I have, should have mentioned this in the beginning, but um, if you put your name below and you subscribe to my channel, I am going to send two lucky people these um, birthday cards. This one says, today blooms just for you. But you get a set of three for subscribing to my channel and then birthday cheers all around is on the inside. And then... Happy birthday. So they're all birthday cards. But I'm going to send two people that have three of the, just three of these cards. And here's to celebrating you is on the inside. And then the third one is birthday cheers all around. I really liking that glare. And then the inside is here's to celebrating you. Okay? So Again, it's going to be a random drawing. Whoop. Two people will get this, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and send your address. And then there's the third one. So those are the cards. Again, um, this Still of Night, if you are an Owl fan, the Still of Night um, stamp set is coming out starting September 5th. And again, this designer series paper uh, where you can get those bats and the punch is also coming out starting September 5th. So that's just a fun card you can make. Ah, where'd my owl go? He has disappeared into the night. All right, so that's it. And um, subscribe to the channel and let me know if you want to enter the contest to win those um, cards. All righty, talk to you soon. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.